Back to the Storm Alert Center we go. Paul Bear is standing by. Paul, forgive me if my hair is a little fluffy tonight. Couldn't resist driving around with the windows down today. Look <laughs> at those eyes. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Tomorrow's going to be okay. Uh, it's not going to be uh, 73, but it's going to be, I think, uh, 69, 70, maybe 68, 75 in Nashville today. All the cool air is a little further off to the north from St. Louis on northward. Uh, 73 in Atlanta, just uh, perfect temperatures, low humidity, very, very comfortable. We had a few sprinkles further out to the west. They've really gone poof. They've started to disappear, so there's just not that much out there. A, a wider view of this shows most of the rain really is up into Kentucky, pushing off towards the east. But just checking some of the observations out near uh, Colorado. Denver's getting hit really hard. with a, It's a, sort of a mini snowstorm. It's coming down really hard out there. And uh, they're really excited about it, I can tell you right now. Uh, yeah, all right, we got a few clouds moving across the Tennessee Valley. Again, a lot of cloudiness out to the west. We're going to see a lot of action down to the south and west of us start to move our way for tomorrow. Uh, but we're going to hold off on that rain until late tomorrow night. Currently, it's very pleasant at 55, while Cleveland's a lot cooler at 48 at the jet port. 51 in Dalton, Murphy Andrews Airport, much, much cooler, almost 20 degrees cooler. Then the airport at 19 degrees cool, 36 degrees already because the skies are still crystal clear out there. 73 and 36 for the high and the low for today. That is a huge spread, uh, 37 degree spread between the high and the low. Normally it's only about 21 degrees, 22 degrees. And we're about uh, two inches below normal in rain. We are going to make up for that, I think, over the next five to seven days. 72 Dalton, 72 in Lafayette, 73 in Somerville. For high 72 over northeast Alabama, right across the metro area, mainly 70s, higher elevations like Lookout 67, 69 Mowbray 66 Signal, uh, Trenton was 73, along the Squatchy Valley into the 70s, uh, mid to upper 60s over the plateau, and upper 60s uh, over the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains from Turtle Town all the way to Murphy, and uh, 70s again to the north and east of Chattanooga. So here's Vipercast, a little frontal system does move by. It'll ease on by. We'll have some clouds in the morning. Those will break away. Then some high clouds will start spreading in out of the west. We'll have a northerly wind. If you get a lot of breaks in those clouds, we're going to get near 70 again for tomorrow. Uh, but mainly 60s, I think, now. And showers are going to start to spread in late, late, late Thursday night into Friday morning. That's going to continue pretty much all day long through Friday. And then we're going to see periods of rain coming up into Friday night, Saturday. The front stalls again. Another wave of rain moves in Saturday night into Sunday. And then we get some more warm air, and then late into Sunday afternoon, we get another round of showers and possibly even a thunderstorm. So Vipercast is get really getting aggressive with this rain, about an inch and a half to two inches, more than likely by Sunday afternoon. And we're not done then. We're going to add some more rain probably into Monday and Tuesday at least. Uh, 48 tonight with uh, warmer temperatures uh, compared to where we've been the last few nights, and 69 tomorrow, we'll call it partly cloudy. And then tomorrow night, I think about 43 with a few more clouds, some showers, will develop late and on the seven day, an excellent chance for that rain Friday. Friday's gonna be a soaker. And then Saturday, 67, and a pretty good chance for those showers. Sunday, first half of the day should be dry. Second half of the day, possibly wet, but definitely Sunday night and into Monday, we're gonna get some rain early Monday. Then it should be ending temporarily. And there is a good chance another wave of rain could move into Tuesday and then end Wednesday morning. But nothing really cold through this whole period. Coldest to be on Friday at 57, but tomorrow, 69. Not a bad day at all, Greg.